boys and girls, and welcome to Tiny Tots. I'm Miss Lisa, and I'm here today with Miss Mikeela, and we've got some stories and an activity for you today. Our first book is called Raccoon's Perfect Snowman. It's almost winter time, boys and girls. I hope that you'll get out and make a snowman. That is, if we get some snow. All right. Let's see what happens in our story today. Raccoon was a very serious, he was very serious about building snowmen. Look at his sleigh, boys and girls. Look at his little sled filled with things. So if he's super serious, looks like he's got scarves and he's got a ladder, he's got some sticks and a hat and a carrot, everything you need to make a snowman. All winter long, he practiced rolling and stacking and decorating. I'm not sure, boys and girls, what that snowman is, but <laughs> porcupine snowman. Raccoon became so good at building snowman, he knew his friends would want to help. Just do what I do and you will have a perfect snowman. So he's made, it looks like a hedgehog. It looks like a mouse and a bear and a penguin. He's quite proud of his designs, isn't he? Everyone got to work. Let's start rolling snow, said Raccoon. Only use the clean snow. Hmm, pretty good advice. But Rabbit had trouble finding the right snow. Look at Rabbit's snowball. It's got dirt, little twigs in it, and grass. Next time, now it's time to snack, or to stack, sorry. Luckily, I have all the tools we need to make perfectly even snowman. Look at his tool belt, boys and girls. His level. He is quite serious about making snowmen. Looks like he, is that a slow spritzer bottle for <laughs> melting the snow? Oh, look, exactly. Look what he's doing, <laughs> boys and girls. He's, he's like spraying it with water a little bit and he's gonna smooth it out and make it just perfect. But Fox got tired of waiting for Raccoon to share his tools. Take a look at Fox. He is making a snowman. The last step is decorating your snowman. We have lots of decorations. There he goes. But when Mouse looked into the sled, there wasn't much to choose from. Hmm, looks like he took it all. Look, there's one carrot, something green, two sticks that don't match. Oh, he seems a little sad. Raccoon admired his masterpiece. This was the best one yet. It was time to check in on his friend's progress. Take a look at that snowman. It's beautiful, right? Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Rabbit, you use dirty snow. Why would you do that? Look at that snowman. I think he's sort of cute. Fox, your snowman is all lopsided. What happened? Mouse, why is your snowman so plain? Oh, well, we know the answer to that, right? Raccoon <laughs> took everything. Then Raccoon looked back at his own snowman. It's a raccoon snowman. I was about to say, it looks like him. <laughs> raccoon snowman was perfect but he felt perfectly awful. Look, all of his friends are going away. He didn't help his friends at all, did he? He didn't compliment them or say anything nice. Then he had an idea. Let's build one more snowman, Raccoon called out to his friends. This time it will really be perfect. He's undecorating his. What do you think he's going to do next? Hmm. Let's start rolling. So each of his friends are rolling a snowball. Use any snow you can find. Well, that's good advice. Now let's 
stack the snow. Don't worry if the snowman is crooked. Our last step is the decorations. Let's be creative. So I've got all these buttons and this fur and maybe some pine cones. This new, the new snowman wasn't very clean and it didn't stand straight and the decorations did not match, but it was perfect. Isn't he cute? <laughs> they all worked together, didn't they, to make Raccoon's perfect snowman. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna do a little activity with you today. This is my snowman, okay? He's pretty plain like some of these in the story. Um, so what are we gonna need to do to help decorate him? Well, when you make a snowman, if you want him to look like a little person, the first thing you might wanna do is get some sticks. So we're gonna make some sticks. As you saw in the book, we need a carrot nose, or sometimes you can just find a stick. Um, I also have some mittens that we can put on the snowman. Look at that. And um, we need a scarf, don't we? So I've got lots of different scarves, different colors, different sizes. Boys and girls, you could make an activity like this at home. You could just find some of these pictures off the internet and you could make all kinds of different types of snowman. I also have a whole bunch of different types of hats that you can make a snowman with and they all look different when you put them together. So we can make a top hat and then maybe we could use this red to match the red mittens. So that would be one type of snowman. We could change the hat out and put this one on there. Didn't he look cute with that one? We can change the scarf. Let's go maybe with this one. Now you'll notice I've got some little tabs here so we can always put some little buttons. If you have, um, your mom may have a sewing kit at home, you might find some large buttons that you could use. Or if you didn't want to use buttons, you could also just use some um, pieces of stick or some stone, maybe you have some gravel around. It's not as colorful, but it would still give him the idea of having like a little coat on. And if you didn't want him to have mittens, something else you could do to make your snowman unique is give him a broom. Help him maybe help clean your driveway a little bit. <laughs> so let's take this hat off and let's try the stocking cap. You guys probably have a couple of extra ones of those at home. We can take this off and put that one on there. And so this is a really fun activity, boys and girls. So um, whether you make it outside or you make a paper one, um, snowmen are a lot of fun and it doesn't have to be super perfect. Um, just like in our, in our story today, you could have one that, that wasn't perfect. You know what, I don't think we've used this one yet. This would sort of match that one. And so we could tr trade it out. And did I use all, I guess I used all the hats. I didn't use this one. Super cute. So we can make all these different kinds of hats. And this one has some little berries and holly on it. That would be something that you could do. So I hope boys and girls that you will get there out there in the snow this winter and build a snowman. And don't worry if he's not perfect because I think they'd be really, really cute. All right, I think Miss Michaela has another story for us today. The story I have today is called Red Wagon. Lucy has a brand new little red wagon. She wanted to play with it immediately, so she asked her mother, sure, you can use your wagon to go to the market. Look at her and all her friends playing. That sounded like a chore, and Lucy didn't want to do chores. Her mom gave her a list. But she sat out to the market and she pulled her red wagon up the hill. It was pretty heavy. Look, her friends joined, no wonder. <laughs> at the top of the hill, 
It started to rain. Oh, bother. Oh, he's smart. He used the wagon as a shelter. Lucy quickly pushed the wagon down the hill. We're all going down with the water. By the time she got to the bottom, it was really coming down. We got life, best little life ring and everything. Ooh. Soon the rain stopped and the sun came out and she continued on her way. At last, Lucy arrived at the market. Look at all the different things at the market. Ice cream, vegetables, balloons. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Lucy neatly loaded the wagon with the vegetables from her list. She's getting help from everybody. That's good. As she hauled them back up the hill, She was almost down again when the wagon hit a rock. Sent her wagon flying. All of her vegetables too. Luckily, the wagon was okay and so was Lucy. She gathered the vegetables and put them back into her wagon. Look at everyone helping her put her little stuff back. And when she got home, her mother was waiting for her. Thank you, Lucy. What a big help. And finally, Lucy was free to play with her wagon. <laughs> she was too tired, though. She decided to take a nap. She, she took a nap. But let me, let me take a look at this. Boys and girls, if you notice, while she was reading this, do you think Lucy was actually playing with her wagon the whole time? I think I noticed something while my Keela was reading it. So like her friends are all playing with the kite and she had to go do her mama's chores. Here, her friends are swinging and looking like they're going on a picnic, but she had to go to do her chores, right? But then when it rains, it looks like they're all having a, a little picnic. So she's playing with her wagon there. And then here, it looks like they're playing like, you know, they're in a big flood. And so she's using her imagination to drive down that, that hill. And then I like these other couple pictures. They're so, they're they're, she's using her imagination to, you know, play pirates. And um, the life preserver for the one that's almost drowning and put a sail up and turned her wagon into a boat. So you can do a lot of things with a wagon or even a cardboard box. Yeah. Look at this one. They've turned it into a covered wagon and they're like being out west and he's the sheriff. <laughs> so he's using their imagination. And then here, um, it's almost almost a circus feel. If you look at the, the stilts and all the little toys that maybe they could buy at the market. Yeah, Lucy's on skates. <laughs> and then that, that, this one too, it's almost circus-y like with the tent in the background and the trapeze. So she's using her imagination. And then it's the train and he, he's the conductor. And then at the end, it's the whole space scene and they're flying off in their rocket. So boys and girls, if you have a little red wagon at home, you can play and use your imagination for all kinds of stuff or even just a cardboard box. Cardboard boxes are a lot of times very fun to play with if you they just are. use your imagination, just like this little guy used it with his red wagon. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have enjoyed our stories today and our activity. We will see you again next time. Thanks for watching Little Tiny Tots. Bye now.